We're with Michael Walters. 200 games in the books now for you. It must be a really special feeling. It is a special feeling. Um, more so for my family, um, you, know, you know, the people that were there throughout my whole journey, junior years and, and right through Waffle as well. So um, it's more so a reward for them, for their hard work and everything that they did to, to get me to where I am. Um, this is something that I'll probably look, at, look back at at the end of my career, but for now, um, this is more so for them. Um, and obviously today, three goals for you made a huge impact up forward. That run down tackle really sort of uh, lifted the boys up to sort of really turn the tide. Yeah, exactly. And you know, you know, I feel like my pressure has been on all year. Um, although the goals hasn't hasn't come my way, but I feel like the pressure is set up by the goals. And you know, it's good that you know we're not just relying on certain players to to go out there and play and and, and kick bags of goals. Um, everyone's everyone's playing their role. Everyone's putting on the pressure and. I feel like the goals will stem from that, so it's um, it was my day to kick a few goals today. Um, you know, you know, um, and previous weeks there's been other players, Lockie Schultz, Michael Frederick, and, and guys like that. So it's good to have a forward line um, that can adjust and and that can um, kick kick goals essentially. And talk us through having a family here over this weekend. Um, who's here, and it must be so great to have them. Yeah, I've got my mum Martha, my wife Marnie, and and my three girls, and you know. You know, I play footy for them, and 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 to have them here for my tournament, and also for them to get to get the experience of an away trip has been massive. Um, and yeah, you know, I just love I just love the way that they um, came out with me through the banner, and, and it's something that I'm I'm definitely going to remember for the rest of my life. Yeah, them getting to run out through the banner with you, and then even be part of the team song at the end. Just all the boys around, and they can feel so welcome. It's so nice to. Um, have those experiences with the family involved. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I love this footy club so much that from the coaching staff to um, you know, all the media, admin, um, everyone that came across with us, including the players, have been unreal towards my family. And, um, and they definitely made them feel welcome. And, and my girls were shy, but, um, but they softened up towards the end. And it's Dave's final home and away game ever. Um, you got the jumper from him today to play with him and just having you come off together at the end. It just must be so nice to have that person in your career. Yeah, definitely. I mean, someone that um, you know, I grew up watching, grew up idolising, and um, he's a massive for man, just like me and Fife are. And to have Dave present me with my jumper was, um, was unreal because you know, I've been through a lot with Dave and um, played a lot of footy with him as well, and for him and Fife to carry me off and also to present my jumper, um, I couldn't think of a, a better suit to do it with. And uh, now we switch our focus to finals footy. That's pretty exciting for the club. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is what we work hard for throughout pre-season, throughout the off-season, um, in meetings, um, and on the training track is to play finals footy. And you know, it's good to be able to say that you know, you know we can play finals. We are we are in finals, so it's a good feeling after five or six years to be able to do that. Um, but but the hard work's um, still to come. Um, this is where the real season starts, and it's on us to get to get back to the drawing board, work on what we need to work on, because obviously GWS um, started fast on us today and um, and it took us a while to combat that, so we can't allow that to happen in finals. So there's definitely room for improvement um, and there's definitely, you know, you know we want to recover over this break, but then also we want to get better as well. You're one of the only players who's actually probably played finals. What's your advice to, I guess, the younger group? Just soak it up and enjoy it. Don't try and hide around. Um, just really enjoy it and stick to the basics. Play our brand of footy. You don't have to go out there and do anything spectacular. We just want you to play your role, and um, and hopefully our structure can get us over the line. We've got two weeks until the first uh, of the finals game. Uh, what will be happening during that, the next two weeks? Yeah, so like I said, we're going to have the week off. Um, get back to the basics and see what we need to improve on. There's definitely a lot, a lot of room to improve, but then also there's some good things that come out of the game as well. So we'll knuckle down, 